Today I'm sharing with you guys how to edit reels just like low inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. Now today is actually going to be a banger video as this is a style that like really got me into editing short form content. Like I literally just loved how simple, how clean it really was. Now, if you guys don't know me, my name is Chris Bustead and I run the takeover shop where it's editing assets and presets for content creators just like you. And I've been making my living doing this for the past 10 months. So I'm still fairly new into the content creation game, but nonetheless, we are here and we're going crazy. So if you're at all curious about like what I do from a day to day, feel free to go ahead, check out my Instagram down below and say hi to me in the DMs. And let's go ahead and get straight into today's tutorial. So first things first, what you guys want to go ahead and do is just import your footage. So I use control I to go ahead and import my footage. You just select your footage and then you get it into here and then you drag it down here. Make sure your frame size is 1080 by 1920 and then you should be good to go. Make sure it's 30 FPS and you're chilling. So hit okay. Now, first things first, when you guys edit, it's just doing basic cuts. Now I've covered this in other videos, but essentially what you wanna do is use the cut tool and the selection tool and just make all your cuts, cut out all of the dead space. If you guys don't know how to do that, feel free to go ahead and watch the video in the top right hand corner where I show you guys how I actually edit my short from content more in depth. But this video, we're just gonna really go over how to edit like low. Okay, so first things first is the color grade. So I like to go ahead and go to effects. And then if you guys go ahead and type in takeover, um, you guys won't have this preset pack unless you actually buy the low editing pack, which you do not need for this video. You guys can still use the techniques that I use. This video is actually a very simple one, so feel free to go ahead and watch along. This preset pack just makes it so much more easier to edit like low. Drag and drop this low 2023 LUT. But before we go ahead and do that is we want to go to source for this clip. We're going to go to source. So that way it applies to all of the cuts. So I'm just going to go ahead, drag and drop it into the source. And as you can see, the LUT actually looks pretty solid right here, but I want to throw on some contrast and then maybe decrease the highlights a bit, just like that, because the uh, shooting location wasn't very ideal, but it's what we were working with, so we had to make do. And then if you guys want to go ahead and adjust the strength of the LUT, right now it's only at 100. You guys can increase the intensity just like so. And honestly, that looks really good. But as you can see, if you go down, it just looks like normal footage. If you increase it, it just kind of adds more of like that LUT. Um, this is kind of more for the people who shoot flat picture profile. Um, but for me, I'm liking something about this range. So to me, that looks really good. So there we go. First step, putting on LUTs, done. So now the second step, honestly, for me, is just going to go ahead and add the hook. Um, if you guys want to go ahead and add a hook, I go to my essential graphics. So as you guys can see right here is there is actually a library of a lot of hooks that Lo uses. Now I'm going to go ahead and just do, let's see, let's just pick, let's zoom in and just see which one we're kind of feeling. So I actually want one that's on the top third. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag and drop this right here. And then right there, as you guys can see, the text is already applied for you guys. Now it's as easy as just going into here, double clicking it, and then just do I'm just going to type in how to edit like low. So how to edit like then we're going to have just the word maybe low. Maybe we'll do Logan Robles because that's like his actual handle. So we'll do something like that. And to me, that looks really good. Um, but something that I'm not liking right here is just the background is it's not enough separation. So we're going to add a shadow. So we're going to go over here and then we're just going to make this sort of like spread a little bit bigger, just like so. Now that looks way better. Um, let's say you want to tweak the, the thing to be a little bit higher up. So you could just go here to the position thing right here. And there you go. Just simple as that. But again, if you guys didn't cop this pack, literally all you have to do is just create two lines of text, um, use owners, fonts, black, etc., etc. And then I'm going to actually fix this. Um, for this, you want the top line and the bottom line to be like super identical in size or like length. So that's what we went ahead and did. I'm going to go ahead and just make this background shadow just a little bit more apparent, just like so. And there we go. We have our hook. Here's how to edit like low in 2024. Okay, there we go. Now I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate this. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and duplicate just like this. And then I'm going to just select it all. And then I'm just going to type in 2024. I'm going to make this big, just like so. So when I say 2024, I want it to pop up on screen. And we'll do something like that. Here's how to edit like low in 2024. Now let's say we want to actually change the text to his uh, title text. Just type in new spirit. Um, if you don't have it, go ahead and install it. This font's actually really clean. It's sort of like his like stylistic choice of font. Um, we're going to use FFF 000 
for the yellow and then there we go i'm liking that only thing left for me personally is i like the uh the sort of key outlook so i'm gonna go over here to keeper drag and drop it this is a paid plugin by the way guys if you guys want to go ahead and cop it uh, just type in keeper and you'll be able to find it super easy to find select subject or person subject just like so and then maybe just add like a little bit of a soften so maybe like just like that and honestly to me that looks oh in 2024 yeah so now that we kind of got the basics down i'm gonna go ahead and import some sound effects again this is actually inside of the pack but you guys can go ahead and look up risers as well and as you guys can see these sound effects right here i'm just gonna import both of them we're just gonna use the uh metallic riser just like so and just drag it up in there line it up with the cut just like this now i'm also going to go ahead and just add a little bit of reverb so we're going to go to the essential sound go to sound effects and then i'm just going to throw in some reverb here's how to edit like low in 2024 typically fire now i'm really liking that so we're going to go ahead and just add a little bit of extra sauce this is my personal touch to this edit um so we're going to go over here to the new item we're going to go to adjustment layer drag and drop and then we're just going to go ahead and add like a simple scale in. We're going to do 1 to 110. Let's see how this looks. Here's how to edit like low in 2024. Now that looks really, really good. I love that actually. So we're just going to keep it. Here's how to edit like low. In and maybe let's add like a little dissolve to the sound effect because it is pretty loud. I know you guys can't hear it, but. Here's how to edit like low in 2024. W. The next step is uh, editing like low. Um, you want to go ahead and just add in some b-roll so if you don't have any b-roll go look at like free websites like pexels uh, video um, just any stock footage websites just go check them out and like try to find the highest quality that you can or you could use other creators b-roll just make sure that you actually um, say like footage by yada yada whoever you got it from or just ask the actual creator themselves if you can use their footage okay dope so i actually imported all of my b-roll that i have so i'm gonna go ahead select this sort of portion when i walk into uh when i walk into the frame like this i'm just gonna hit i to make that little end point and then i'm gonna go ahead and just make an out point right here and we're just gonna drag this into our timeline so now you guys want to go if your camera doesn't already do this um you have to go to 50 because I shot 4K and then a rotation at negative 90 degrees just to make it line up. And then this is the fun part. I'm gonna drag on Lowe's like 2024 LUT. Um, this looks pretty good. If you guys want a little bit more contrast, the plus is indicating contrast. I honestly like the low contrast look. And then let's see, let's go to Lumetric Color and maybe turn the intensity down. And then maybe actually just throw in some contrast. Just like so, just like that. Now, as you guys can see, this is kind of Lowe's 2024 um, new style of LUT. Just very warm toned, more of like a filmic look. And to me, I actually really like it. So let's go ahead and just play through and then make the cuts necessary. 24. Typically. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that and then maybe just drag this all the way out and just make random little cuts in the timeline. So I'm just going to go like this. Literally just make it fast paced because that's what Logue likes to do. He likes fast paced cuts. So I'm going to go ahead and just maybe just drag this random one, drag this random one. Um, of course, you guys want to spend your own time making this look way better than what I'm doing. Uh, we're just doing this for tutorial sake. So we're going to go ahead and see how that looks. Before, typically low likes. Okay, so maybe that's a little too slow. So maybe we'll just go a little faster. Or typically. Maybe like cut. Low okay likes to include a lot okay sick now we're gonna go ahead and just add in our next b-roll clip and then just kind of make a little b-roll sequence i'm gonna be back when i'm done making this b-roll sequence so we actually finished up editing our b-roll sequence i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what that looks like or typically low likes to include lots and lots of b-roll just like this so that looks really, really clean, but how are we gonna sauce this up and make it look a little bit better? So we're gonna go back and just a uh, new item adjustment layer, and then we're just gonna add a little like zoom in camera movement um, because camera movements like this are just like the sauce for pulling everything together and making it look more cohesive. So I'm just gonna do a slight, maybe just 100 to 105 scale. Four, typically low likes to include lots and lots of B-roll just like this. And then when he's- That looks really, really good. And then we're gonna go ahead and move on because we're gonna do all of the captions last. Next, we're gonna go ahead and just add some dope text. So his main sort of go-to texts 
for like more of the title stuff is New Spirit and then also Monument Expanded, which again, this is all inside of the pack so you guys don't have to go scounging for it. Um, but if you guys wanna go grab it, there you go. I just gave you the sauce, go download it. Um, pretty fire fonts in my opinion. So I'm gonna go ahead and just create this from scratch. So I'm just gonna do like title. I'm gonna go to graphics, just like so. Center, center, center. And we'll just see kind of, we'll line it up kind of how it makes sense. This, and then when he's feeling a little saucy, he'll throw on at this. See, he'll throw on at this. This top. Okay, so I say this. He'll throw on at this. Throw on at this title. Sort of effect. Okay, fire. So I really like that. Um, so when I say this title sort of effect, I want this title to stay on screen, but I also want to add some more text. So I'm going to go ahead and just line this up. Titles. I'm going to do like sort. And then we're just going to actually make this a monument extended uh, font. We're going to make this smaller. We're just going to make this one white. His go to colors are just white and yellow for captions. So just stick to it. Super easy. And we're actually just going to go ahead and type out of sort of effect, but we're not actually going to use like this. I'll show you guys how to make it a little bit better, a little bit more saucier. So we're going to go ahead, select all the text, make it a little smaller, sort of effect. And then what we're going to go ahead and do, which if you guys have watched my Tom Nosky effect, you know what I'm going to be doing. Um, but if not, then watch what I do. I'm going to duplicate it three times for each uh, different word. And then I'm going to go ahead on the top layer, delete the everything in the front. I'm going to move this over and just line up the word effect with the other word effect. And same thing, sort of. I'm just going to type in of, and then I'm just going to line it up with the word of, just like this. And then we're just going to go ahead and type in sorts. And we're going to move it over again, line it up just like this. And then I'm going to delete the original. And then just kind of line it up with the words. Titles sort of. Titles sort. Titles sort of effect. Titles sort of effect. And now that looks pretty gas. Again, let's go ahead and just drag on the uh, sort of camera movement, just like so. Now camera movements are honestly like just the best thing to do. Um, to just really tie things together like when it's too boring or like too stagnant feeling you just need to add a camera movement and you'll be good to go Like this and then when he's feeling a little saucy he'll throw on this title sort And then say you don't want the text to be affected by the zoom in that's perfectly fine Just go ahead drag the text above the adjustment layer just like so and you guys can just bring this down Just so it only affects the video below And then when he's feeling a little saucy he'll and then this maybe actually just make this like a little bit more zoomed in like this. So we'll select the actual videos, scale it in, not the adjustment layer. This, and then when he's feeling a little saucy, he'll throw on this title sort of effect. And he does that by using new spirit font. Fire. Okay guys, so we kind of got like the really basics of low style. His style is super, super easy to recreate. He really puts in the work up front in his B-roll, which is highly what I recommend you guys do. But these sort of like tiny little tools, like the hooks, the LUTs, and having all of the fonts in one place for you is just super, super helpful when trying to like recreate this style. Now again, I don't think you guys should just rip his style because that's kind of lame and weird. You guys should use this pack and just really use it to get yourself a very good start of like what you're trying to recreate in your own style. So grab this pack, make it your own, you know, like just add your own little sauce to it, but not that type of sauce. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, uh, we're gonna go ahead and add on our text captions. So go over here to text, go to transcript, generate static transcripts. I'm an, I'm an old head, so I, I like to use this, uh, the old style one. You guys could use text-based editing. I don't like it. Uh, it kind of just uses your computer a little bit too much. Honestly, maybe it doesn't. I've never played with it. Like I said, I'm an old head, <laughs> not gonna lie. Create captions from transcripts. We're gonna go over here to maximum length and characters. I'm honestly just gonna drag this down like to eight. 
Um, you guys could drag it all the way down if you want. I'm gonna do the minimum duration down, line, single. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna select all of it. So I already have the low caption style loaded into my Premiere Pro, which it does come with the pack. I feel like I'm promoting the pack a lot, which to be fair, I am 100%. Go ahead to open style browser, and then you guys could go over here to low text style caption two, or you guys could do the low style text caption one. I'm just gonna go ahead and do two. It looks good, so why not? As you guys can see, it immediately, once you touch it, it adds like the text style. You guys could go ahead and play around with it. You guys could do the new spirit text if you guys want. You guys could do the monument expanded, which honestly, that looks pretty good. I might use that. Um, or you guys could just do like the lowercase sort of captions. I'm gonna use monument expanded because I think it looks pretty good. So we're gonna go ahead and use that. And now all of these come with the load style pack again. But if you don't want to do that, download the fonts, use monument extended, use black, use all caps, and then just really just place it where you want it. Um, for me, I kind of want it down here um, in this little area, just like so. And then because there's not enough contrast in the background, I'm just gonna go ahead and add a shadow. We're gonna change the color to black. And I'm just gonna really make the size bigger so that way it's not as detectable. So there you go. Now we're just going to go through and add the captions or delete the captions where we don't want them or where we do want them. So in the hook, there's no need for the captions because we already have the captions covered. So we're just here's how to edit like low in 2024. Typically low like. OK, so there's going to be spelling errors. So you just want to go ahead and fix those. But for the B-roll sequence, what I really, really want to do is one, you wanna line up the text to the cuts, and then also I want to make the text centered for B-roll. That was pretty fire. Again, you guys could go ahead, if you guys wanna change the style, just go over here to this library button. You just change it like that, like that, um, or like that. Typically Low likes to include lots and lots of B-roll, just like this, and then when he's feeling a little fire. And then we're just gonna go through the entire video and just really make sure the captions are looking good. And then when he's feeling a little saucy. I sassy, bro, man, saucy, bro, come on, saucy, dog. Anyways, guys, that is all you guys really need to know on how to edit like low. Again, his style is super, super simple, but if you guys just have all of the assets in one place, it makes editing super, super easy. Because one, it gives you all of the branding in one spot. Two, it saves your workflow because you're not having to look everywhere. It's just all in one folder. And then three, you're able to just create better looking content, which, you know, if you're an editor, could make you more money or get you more followers and help you build your personal brand better. So again, if you want to check out that low editing pack, I ain't going to stop you. Link's going to be down below. Anyways, thank you so much for watching the video. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take action, take over. Peace.